your hands up, up. I'm Corey Gardner, welcome to Indianapolis. I'm here to tell you my story. Started off as an investor in Chicago, turned broker, still an investor here. Excited to share with you my story, welcome. When I was in college, I realized that I wanted to be in business. I like real estate because it's a tangible asset, something that I can control. They're not creating any more land here on planet Earth. I can't necessarily pick up this building and move it. Um, and that was attractive to me. I didn't really know how to get into the industry though. So I thought about, well, you know, how can I do this? It's a really big monster that I got to tackle. So I realized, well, why don't I just start researching? Why don't I start learning and educating myself on how to get into the industry? So I did. That's how I went online and I Googled and found bigger pockets and that's how we're here today now. We are in Kennedy King neighborhood here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, stoked to show you the sixplex. It's right on the border of Herod Board, Kennedy King neighborhoods. I bought this in August, 2019. I raised the capital for the equity. We got a loan on it. It was a vacant building, so it was tough to finance. It needed a little bit of work, but once we did that work, we got it leased out. Now we're cash flowing. We're gonna take a look. We're at downtown Indianapolis. I found this property off market, actually on bigger pockets. A lady was gonna list this building on the market the next day, but I contacted her right away. I said, I love this building. Don't put it on the market. I'm gonna send you an offer right now. Um, I've negotiated a little bit, but I gave them really close to their asking price. Here's the problem. It was off market and vacant. So no bank is gonna finance this. It's a commercial property with a normal loan. They can't appraise it based off the income. It's not producing income. So how am I gonna find the money to mine this building? So what I had to do, I had to go out and raise capital because I needed to get a special loan. I needed a KP, a key principal who had enough liquidity and net worth to carry the balance of the mortgage, but I also needed the equity. So I raised, I don't know, $125,000 to buy this building. I'm 27 years old. I don't have $125,000 laying around, so where am I gonna find this? Again, I went out to the same investor and I said, hey look, here's my vision for this building. It's vacant, it needs work, but I know I can have it make some money. So, once we bought it, which I did, we went out, raised the money, I bought the building, I said, okay, here's what's gonna happen next. I have a vision for this, but I need to do some things to it first. It needed to be painted. I needed some CapEx on the exterior. The brick needed work. There were some foundational issues. I had to replace the sewer line. That cost like $12,000. So all these things that I had to do, once I did all that though, I was able to now go out, market it for rent, and now cash flow from it. But once I did that, I realized, okay, well, how can I improve this even more? It's rented out, let's move it up a little bit. So I decided I'm gonna try out the short-term rental game. And I converted a couple of the units from long-term tenants to short-term tenants. So I took this building, it was vacant, uh, tough to finance, off market, and I turned it into this beautiful cash flowing asset. And I'm super happy with it. Here we are. Corey, I love your story. You told us about yourself. You told us about this deal yep. along the way. Yep. I know that you've learned some lessons. If you could, if you could culminate those into three ideas, sure. what would they be? So, I love the question. Um, I don't know where I heard this, so it's not originally mine, but I love it because it really resonates with me, and I feel like it's true to everything you're gonna do in real estate. It's related to development, but I think it translates. Know thyself, know thy costs, and know thy markets. And if you think about which, what each of those means, everything you do in business or real estate is gonna come back to, you gotta know yourself, you gotta know what you're doing, are you capable of doing this? Do you have the grit to tough it out? Is this something that you want to do? Do you envision yourself doing it? You need to know if that's true for you, not just because somebody else is doing it. You need to know your costs. You need to know what's involved, contractors, lenders, attorneys, all of these pieces that a lot of times people don't think about till they get into it. You know, I didn't know I needed X, Y, Z and it's gonna cost this much till I did. You need to know those things. You'll learn some of it over time. You can talk to people. You can learn through these experiences. You need to know what it's gonna cost to finance a building. You need to know what it's gonna cost to replace the sewer line that you didn't budget in because it's gonna hit your, hit your margins. And then you need to know your markets. 
You need to understand the macroeconomics, but also the microeconomics. You need to know what's going on from a population level in your vicinity, in your city. You need to know what job growth looks like. You need to know a lot of the fundamentals of real estate, why people invest in Indianapolis. You need to understand those things. And maybe it's not Indy. Maybe it's your backyard in North Carolina or New York or wherever it is. You need to know those markets. When you piece all three of those together, you're going to be successful because you're going to work through it. You're going to have those baseline fundamentals figured out yourself the costs and the markets. And if you know all those things well enough, you'll know, you'll start to know, you'll learn the difference between the good deals and the bad deals. And it takes time to learn that stuff. You said before it takes three years to learn and like really get to know something. I bought this building when I was 24, I'm now 27. Through this process, I've learned so much about what I'm passionate about within real estate. I've learned more about myself. I've learned a hell of a ton more about costs and I've learned way more about the Indianapolis market than I ever would have. And that's through ownership, that's through going through the process. But if you, like I said, have those three things, you'll be able to make it. Hey, you wanna see the roof? Let's go. Up, ledge, up. I'm Corey the Broker. This isn't the best rooftop bar in Indianapolis, but it's mine. <laughs>